In this video, you'll learn how to replace a like motor on the Nano 2 box. In order to do this, you'll need needle nose pliers, some Allen wrenches, including the one that came with the Nano box, a Phillips head screwdriver, and latex gloves to keep the shade clean and free of oils from our hands. Take the Allen wrench that came with the Nano box and untighten the end caps. This will allow you to easily remove the fascia. Make sure to do this on both the left and right end caps. Place the shade on its back and then pop off the fascia. Make sure that the shade is completely rolled up and then grab those needle nose pliers. You'll use them to remove the locking pin on the idler side of the shade. Since this is our lithium ion nano box, we also need to remove the set screws around the magnetic charger. Use that same Allen wrench to poke the charger through to ensure it's completely loose. Next, pull the shade towards the idler side, which will release the shade from the cassette. From this point, we'll take the motor straight out. Make sure to hold the fabric with one of your hands as you do this to prevent anything from rolling away. Before putting the old motor away, make sure to remove this motor head plate, which we will then reattach to the new motor. Put the old motor away and grab the new one. Reinstall the motor head plate to the new motor. When looking at the tube, you'll notice some grooves. These will line up with the rubber part of the tube. Additionally, there will be a collar around the motor head itself, which you'll also need to line up. Then, push the motor back in. Before putting the motor back into the cassette, make sure that the button on this motor is facing down. With the tube reassembled, put it back into the cassette, beginning with the idler side, and then the motor side. Reinstall the magnetic charging port and tighten the set screws. Then reinstall the locking pin using those needle nose pliers. Take a look at these hex heads and make sure they're near the tips of the alt thread. This way the fascia will reinstall easily like this. Finally, tighten the end caps on both sides and you're finished. When you reinstall the shade, don't forget to track it a few times to make sure everything works great. And as always, please contact Screen Innovation Support if you need any additional assistance.